So I really like this lighting, but it's like this side of my face is super bright because the light is coming from over there. And then this side is dark because it's like blocked from the light. So I have like my basic like room light, like on my ceiling. And then I have this other little lamp that I bought, not for like lighting purposes, but basically that's like the only reason why I bought this new lamp is because I was like, this is going to make the lighting look sick because my sister has a lamp like this. And the lighting in a room is always like so good for like pictures and everything. So I was like, it's going to look good on my face cam, which is obviously that's what I want. But today I actually have my window open letting in natural sunlight, which is crazy because I thought for a second I was going to melt if I went out in the sun. But lo and behold, if you go out in the sun, you don't melt. So this lighting, I think it looks really good. I mean, it's kind of like half and half because half my face is light and half my face is dark, but I like the lighting nonetheless. Like I was always afraid that there was going to be a glare on my screen like there always used to be, but the way my new setup is, it doesn't have that glare at all. There's literally no way for me to explain this and like show you guys because it's so different But when I'm recording on this game, I am straight trash Like I don't know what it is whether like Elgato or YouTube They just want to make me look like I'm straight garbage at this game. Oh my god. Look at my eye It's so blue like I'll be sitting here with hollow or with anybody like recording for gameplays and just trying to get clips and stuff And if I'm recording I'm so bad, but if I'm like just playing no recording nothing just hanging out and playing I'll literally drop like 50 and 2 just like out of the blue and then have to get it from theater if I'm trying to make a video like I'm just playing so God awfully and yeah, you could be like oh you're like focusing on trying to talk and try and make the video You don't really care about the gameplay, which is basically why I've never really cared about gameplays but like i'm just trying to make a video for you guys and the game and the world and everything's like fuck you you're not doing that like why do you think you're doing that i played one warm-up game today literally killed it went like 25 and 6 i think we won the game like clutched up for the team and now every single kid on my team is negative like what but basically something i wanted to talk about with my actually that ties something that i wanted to talk like how do you know i'm there how do you know I'm there? Like, what the fu- Are you serious? I'm a fucking hurricane that kid. Like, jeez, I wish he was in Florida right now. But seriously, in all honesty, if anybody is in Florida or in the path of the hurricane that's just like, I don't even know. It's like, it's just- Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? So hold up, pause for a second on what I was talking about. I don't know what it is about this map, but every time I'm like talking about something negative, I'm always playing this map. I have not yet once played this map when I wasn't talking about something negative, which is really weird. It also just proves that this map is actually garbage. Like this map is so stupid. So basically what I was trying to say before I freaking rage quit, whatever. I really, really, really hope that you guys are all safe. Obviously, I hope everybody is safe, but for you guys specifically, watching this video i'm talking to you guys if you guys are in florida near florida or know anybody that is in florida or in the path of hurricane matthew i seriously hope you guys are safe you guys all deserve obviously the best and i really hope that you and your family are very safe i think i have family that's down in florida i think they're like second cousins with my great aunt and uncle i don't know how it works i honestly i don't think i personally know the family that's down there but i would hate to know that any family or anybody is in danger especially from a hurricane my parents were in mexico i think back in 2005 when hurricane wilma hit mexico and that was a category 5 hurricane like they were evacuated from the hotel resort they had to, like do all this crazy stuff go and hide out and they were stuck in mexico for i think like an extra week or two i don't remember exactly how long it was a really long time ago but it's just like that was super scary for me even when i was like I was like eight or nine back then. But especially being now thinking that other people are like that and just knowing that it's a very scary time for some people. Like I hate to know that some people are in danger. And I guess it really opened my eyes today. I wasn't really thinking much of it because it's so nice out here today. Like there's not a single cloud in the sky. And then I remembered like, you know, some people are not only fighting for their lives, but were evacuated from their homes because of the hurricane. And I can't even imagine how like scary that is. I absolutely hate not knowing things. Like if I don't know what's going on, I'm just like, fuck this situation. Like I'm out. And to think that people were basically evacuated from their home because of this hurricane is just something that I don't think anybody should have to go through. It's probably really scary this is i believe a category four hurricane i'm not a meteorologist so i don't know like the exact wind speeds of that but it's nothing that is funny like don't get me wrong i love when it storms and thunderstorms are probably the single-handed best thing on this entire planet but 
when like people's lives are at stake and i know a lot of people have already been injured or lost their life i don't know if there's any specific numbers from like florida but even like in haiti i saw a tweet earlier that was like 336 confirmed people dead or something like that is awful and i really hate to know that people had a rough time or are going through a rough time because of a hurricane so seriously if you or anybody you know is in the path of this hurricane please make sure they're okay please check up on them regularly i don't know how long this is supposed to last too it was at first supposed to come up north more towards where i live but now i don't think it's coming at us at all and i know it's supposed to rain tomorrow but i think that's just like regular rain like it's not anything involved with the hurricane or not so you guys don't have to worry about me but let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are safe I really, really, truly hope that if anybody lives in Florida, near Florida, or anywhere around it, that you guys are safe. So other than that, if you are just like locked away in your house, just chilling with your family, waiting out the storm, hopefully you guys have some things to do. Hopefully you got videos to watch. Hopefully like whatever you do, you got TV to watch. Hopefully you guys still have power and everything. Hopefully nothing is damaged with your house. I really, truly hope that for everybody, but you guys specifically, because you guys are the ones that support me day in and day out. And you know, obviously you guys are the ones that are going to see this. So I really hope truly everybody is okay you guys specifically and my first concern would be any of my subscribers hopefully you guys are having a great time with your family hopefully everybody's safe i really truly hope you guys are and other than that that's pretty much it for me today i'm just gonna probably play call of duty until i stop recording and then probably get off because i hate this game Thank you guys all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like ring down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out all my social media links right over there.